what it takes to really get to grips and create a dream brand and a brand that will fit in with your target customer, keep watching this video. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a brand mood board. Now we're gonna be doing this on Pinterest as the previous video was, which was on how to create your target market mood board. Now I shall link that in the description box below. But essentially what we want to do is create a visual dream board slash mood board for your brand. This video is gonna help you so, so much if you're thinking about doing a little bit of a rebrand in 2020. So I'm gonna take you into my computer so that we can work through this together. Hi everyone, so yet again you are in my computer and today I'm gonna to show you how to create your brand mood board. So ideally you need to have your target market mood board up in one tab and your new board up in another tab, okay? So we're just gonna go on to the profile I'm going to go onto boards and I'm going to create a secret board it's called Brand uh, Mood Board. Keep it secret. Click create. Then it will come up with all sorts of um, uh, bits and bobs up here. Feel free to, to take a, li a little look. But obviously we want to ideally create our own. So let's cross that off there. So, if you don't know how we created our target market mood board, please go and check out that video. Um, it will be on my channel, um, or I'll pop in a card at the top there. Right, so essentially we've created our target market mood board. We've answered all sorts of questions in regards to our target market. We've discovered what they like, what they don't like, what they drive, how they get to work, um, what their living room is like, kitchen is like, how old they are, what they like to do for fun colors, all that type of thing. Now, what you want to do is to, first of all, just take an overall look at your target market brand board and kind of look if there are any overwhelming themes. Now, branding, you know, the, the, the kind of basic of it right now, what we, what we want to look at right now is the colors and the kind of aesthetic and fonts and all that type of thing. So as you can see, very light pink, um, greys, greens, very light grey, um, neutral colours, easy breezy colours. And yeah, to be honest, that is the very overwhelming uh, style. Easy breezy fonts, very plain fonts, simple fonts. Um, even down to the clothes that we've got here on our board is very easy breezy. The office is very easy breezy as well. Greys, neutrals, that is the overwhelming kind of sense that I get from the target market board. So you want to make a note of that. So neutrals, I'm gonna learn how to spell. <laughs> easy colors, let's go for light gray, light pink and light green. Now, that is as deep as you need to go right now. Obviously, simple fonts. And I'm gonna put clean lines as well because there's no kind of com complicated zigzaggy shapes. Circles, rectangles, squares, easy peasy, um, very simple aesthetics. So, I'm then gonna go to my brand mood board and I'm literally gonna do the same thing as what I uh, did for the target market mood board. The first thing you want to do though, is to ask yourself questions like this. Now I have taken a few from my course, which if you don't know, I am currently in, in the process of making. So what three words describe my business? So you may be making this mood board when you already have your business up and open, or you might not. Either way, you have to really get three words in your mind as to, the vibe or feeling that you want your business and your branding therefore to create. So if you've just come off of doing your target market um, board, there might be three words that literally stand out at you. Um, if not, it may take some brainstorming and that's okay. Just go back and have a look at your target market board and identify any sort of themes. So the three words that I think would describe this business would be clean, simple, and eco. 
and that really is uh, those three those three words can do so so much because you can print them out and you can put them above your desk and every time you're creating um, uh, graphics or any you know writing descriptions writing marketing emails even in instagram posts and things like that look at those words and think does this comply with the three words that describe my business yes or no and those three words can be just so so good for writing like a supporting sentence that goes underneath your logo um so what what main things does my brand bring to the table and what i mean by this is what does your brand contribute that maybe the other brands around don't so for example if let's say that you uh, donate 10 percent of all profits to um some charity that supports your cause maybe greenpeace or something like that that is something that your brand brings to the table or maybe you have a hundred percent um eco-friendly packaging or maybe there is something else that you get uh, maybe you get a free candle with every purchase <laughs> maybe I, I i don't know there's got to be something that your brand brings to the table that other brands don't okay so for this brand let's just imagine that 10 percent of all profits are donated to either WWF or Greenpeace or the RSPCA maybe. So that is something that your brand does that other brands don't and it's something to brag about as well. Um, your, your unique selling point is basically this and that is the thing that you need to really really push in your branding and your marketing and things like that. What is my brand's core value? So easy, um, easy, simple and effective uh, skincare that won't cost the earth. Just literally off the top of my head. So you're getting in those um, sort of three major keywords, simple, easy, simple and effective skin skincare that won't cost the earth, i.e. it's sim simple to use, easy to use and it's eco-friendly. What feeling do I want my brand to give? So again, you want um, it to kind of give you a easy breezy and I've literally written that down because if that's the word that you would use to describe it, that's okay. No one else ever has to see this or read this. This is purely just for you. So use any language that you want to and just as long as it gets the point across. So easy breezy, neutral, eco, clean, easy, relaxing. Um, just, yeah, just, just kind of write down any words or sentences or anything that you want your brand to convey to your target market. Ideally, these words or sentences or whatever needs to attract your target market. So I'm going to make that a little bit bigger because there's no point me um, scrolling up and down all the time. I might as well make it a little bit bigger. So now we come back to the brand mood board and I'd recommend reading through that, sort of committing some of it to memory, doing the same with this. And then let's head to your brand mood board. So what I tend to do is I just type in neutral colors and nine times out of 10, you'll get a pin like all of these here, which just gives you the type of colors that you'd ideally want. So I am going to go to, where's B? It's an alph alphabetical order. I don't know why I just scrolled all the way back to the bottom. Brand mood board. And this one as well, I think. Save and maybe I'm going to go with this one. So right away, if you go onto your brand mood board, in fact, I'm going to open up another tab so that we can see, see the progress of our mood board as it comes along. Sorry guys, I just majorly had to cough then. So if, if my voice went a little bit weird then, that would be why. <laughs> the joys of getting over the flu. Um, so let's go and find our mood board. So right now, that is what our brand mood board is looking like. And really, you've got to go with the type of elements that your brand will have. So simple fonts even, and just get an idea Oh, see, I like, I like these. They can go on the board. 
Um, do, 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 do. Now, obviously, these are names of fonts. Quite useful if you're going, you know, and buying the fonts yourself to obviously make your logo and things yourself. Also, a fantastic thing to send to someone who is creating your logo for you or helping you with your branding. Um, just makes it a little bit easier for them to kind of get the vibe that you're going for. I like these actually because that gives me all sorts of different kind of graphics ideas and things like that. In fact, I am liking the very light feminine floral aspect of this. So that I'm going to go for right now. So I'm going to go for simple um, floral sketches, let's say. Uh, there we go. That's the kind of thing that I want. So I'm going to save these because obviously um, this is included in your branding, which I feel like it might because I want to really push the natural skincare aspect of this brand. And I think that the floral elements and the clean neutral colors will do that. Um, and I just think it helps to portray our branding. Um, I'm going to save one more, so I'm going to save that one as well. Now, what, what you're doing here, guys, is you're essentially creating like a brand, uh, well, obviously a, a brand mood board, but a lot of uh, companies that um, will make your um, brand mood board for you won't use Pinterest, they'll use, the, they'll make a graphic for you, um, usually something like this size, and they'll put the fonts and the colours and the graphics in it and things like that. I have paid to get branding done before and while they are fantastic and the companies that I have used have been amazing, I've often kind of been left thinking I could probably have done that myself. It was just the lack of time for me at that time. Um, so this is why I'm literally showing you how to do it yourself. You can by all means pay for someone to do it for you and even if you do, having this would help them immensely. Um, but yeah, just an overall great idea to kind of do. So right now you have some fonts, you have some colours, you have some graphics, but all this is all well and good, but you really need some imagery to back it up, okay? Now, this probably won't make sense to you right now, but let me just show you what I mean and it will probably make more sense to you. So, I'm going to go with um, neutral skincare. Not the type of thing I was thinking. Eco skincare. Um, okay, yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for that. And essentially, um, the first kind of step of getting imagery to back it up is to literally almost suss out the competition. I mean, I know that sounds really, really strange, but. The way that they present, so obviously you can see here that there's a lot of quite busy looking pictures and that's okay, but a lot of them are really clean, simple flat, flat lays, um, which can help you so, so much when you're doing your product photography and things like that. Um, so I'm going to pick out, so that is very simple, very kind of clean. So is that one. I'll just say that's the wrong board. We want, no, you know what? I'm gonna go for a different pen. That seems like it's a bit, bit too long-winded. Let's go to that one. And one more, one more, one more, one more. Come on, we can find one more, can't we? Do, 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 do. You guys are probably screaming at me at the minute saying, there's one right there, but I can't see one. That's too scientific-y. I feel like it's a bit too stiff. A really strange word to use to describe that. I'm gonna go for that one, I think. Brand mood board. So let's go back to our board and let's see how it's looking now. Ah, so see, this is definitely the type of vibe that we are after. You can start to build up, you know, different ideas and, thing, and things like that. And this is like one of the biggest things that a brand mood board does is that it gets the old cogs working and you end up thinking, oh, look at that. I could, I could put my bath salts in packaging like that and, and, and I could have a really simple label like that and pots like that and photography like this. You know, it's just, it's all round a really good thing to have. And as well, what I personally did with my brand mood board is that I sent it to um, 
a lady that does some photography for me and I sent it to her and she literally got the vibe spot on. And it's just a lot easier than, you know, trying to sit down. Like if you sent someone the answers to these questions, let's say, they would maybe get an idea what you were looking at, but they wouldn't necessarily visually know what you were trying to get across. Whereas having this brand mood board completely and utterly does. So now we need some imagery to back it up. And um, I'm gonna go with a field. That sounds bizarre, but we want a very sort of neutral, natural looking filled photo shoot maybe that's more like it so I'm going to put that in there as well and then I'm going to put that one no I'm going to put mm, oh too much choice too much choice too much choice that one that one will do perfect then I need to think about um, I should type an eco actually and just see what comes up what the keywords come up eco art eco living eco friendly eco eco aesthetic that might be a good one Ooh, this looks interesting that's very nice as well very clean um save our c's soft aesthetic maybe oh i like that one for our brand mood board as well i like that one a lot um, I like this for a type of, um, you know, the type of Instagram imagery or Pinterest imagery. I like that as well. That can go on there. Um, I like that one as well because that obviously gives you some um, maybe kind of quote social media post ideas and things like that. Um, Naked Beauty Bar, that could give me some indication of what to do at craft fairs. In fact, let's have a look at that. And this is what this Pinterest board does, is that it gives you so many, so many different ideas. So even this, for example, what you could do is you could literally have the individual um, ingredients and you could make it literally while the customer is stood there. I'll tell you what, I would pay top dollar for that. If any of you guys watching out there make skincare or, thing, or things like that, you guys should do something like this, even where like you could mix up your own bath salts to have the scents that you want. So like, let's say for example, me personally, I would have moisturizing bath salts that had lavender and chamomile in it. You know, that, that would be, and, and I, I can't find bath salts anywhere that have that in there. So a very quick idea. So I've saved that to my mood board to kind of go back to later um and i'm still scrolling and i'm having a look and basically saving anything that catches my eye now if you aren't your target audience and you personally wouldn't be attracted to your own brand it, this may be a little bit more difficult for you but if you spent like you know let's say a good hour that's how long i've sat here doing this going through your um, target market board and your brand mood board, you will certainly begin to think like what your target market does and it makes it a lot easier to identify what would attract them. I like this one as well, um, very neutral. I see a lot of these sort of bags and, thing, and things like that. So I feel like now my brain is saying if I own the brand that we are making this uh, board for, I would be thinking I could make eco-friendly tote bags that I could sell at craft fairs or things like that to put their new uh, skincare that they've bought in. And then it kind of, not only is it an, is it an upsell item, um, but it's also something that would spread your brand word, okay? I also like this one as well. this one create a natural home so now i'm going to go refresh my brand mood board and see how we're doing 28 pins we've been click happy haven't we ah perfect look at this guys seriously we've just created a real professional looking brand mood board all with the help of pinterest now you can totally carry on doing that honestly you, you could get in a into a real rabbit hole with this 
Um, you can just keep saving and saving. And to be honest, almost the more pins you have, the better. And the reason is, is that once you get to this amount of pins, so sort of 30 plus, I would say, Pinterest will start to automatically recommend ideas for your board. And this is where it gets interesting because then you start to see what other um, pinners or people that have Pinterest accounts pin that are in your target market. So I hope that makes sense. So effectively, you have access to other imagery that your target market loves. So let's have a look. Now you will get some weird pins that are promoted pins. Um, I wouldn't take any notice of those to be fair unless they are in your, um, you know, kind of go into your brand board aesthetics or things like that. Do, 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 grind your own. Oh, I love that. I am a coffee obsessed person. Coffee obsessed. Reusable face pads. Ooh, that could be interesting for maybe like uh, upsell that we could make these pads perhaps. Um, I like that is very the kind of aesthetic that I'm going for. Minimalistic, eco, almost sort of countryfied maybe. And yeah, basically you, you, <laughs> you can see that I am getting into a rabbit hole myself and I'm not usually kind of into neutral colours and things like that myself. I'm usually into bright colours and things. So fantastic. Um, you could essentially do this or freaking day. Now, basically we have created our brand mood board. And honestly, guys, I would imagine that if you guys are sat there now and you are making your brand mood board, uh, you know, kind of following along with this video, by the end of it, you've probably got an idea for the type of colors, the fonts, even the logo and the uh, supporting words and things like that that you want to use in your branding. And that, my friends, is Honestly, you guys have done probably 90% more than the other Etsy shops and handmade businesses out there. You've actually researched your brand and researched the colors and what would attract your target market. And I'm telling you, this goes so far. And the fact that you have a target market board to describe the type of person that would like this brand is just amazing because then you will create a brand that attracts said target customer and honestly guys going into Etsy shops for years and if you guys do this again you are ahead of 90% of the competition out there and even better is that if you go into this every month and update it you know let's say that you know there's not a lot of pink going on in here maybe for example you think I'm feeling like I need the brand to be a little bit more girly but not losing the eco-conscious vibe you can then start to put in very very light pink um, aesthetics or pins in here as well um, and you can change and make this brand mood board grow as your brand itself grows and it's so useful as well for um, graphics and social media posts just to make sure that you're never losing the values that you want your brand to stand up for so guys i hope you enjoyed that video give it a big thumbs up if you did share it out with a fellow etsy shop owner if you think it's helpful to them subscribe and click that little bell to be notified when i upload there's going to be more videos like this coming to my channel go and check out my existing content about handmade online businesses and etsy in general and i shall see you in the next one bye